Well, today, pastors, I'd like to talk with you just a little bit about the uh, about your role as a shepherd regarding the family, specifically regarding the children that you serve in in your church. And and some of you are leaders that aren't pastors that you're hearing this, so it's something you may want to consider. But as a pastor, and I pray that you are in a champion's table and you're part of that, that table of champions network today because that is making a huge difference in families and pastors and actually in ministries all around the world today, the table of champions network and, and being a part of a champion's table. This is for you to talk about today. What is the actual role of a pastor? when it comes to the children of the church. Discipling. You know, we talked about discipling last week, but I want to ask you, are you alerting your congregation to some of the things that are actually happening today in the society that we live in? I know America is a reflection of what's happening all over the world and we set a standard sadly sometimes we set a standard because our children today are being taught so many uh, uh, ideas and and things that are totally ungodly regarding the body regarding sex yes sex even even now uh, uh, we had there, there's so many activities and things that are happening uh, in some of the school systems. I'm thankful that we have some great schools out there. Uh, the homeschooling programs are tremendous. Uh, but as a pastor, do you feel as a parent, as a grandparent, that you have a responsibility to your sheep to alert them to some of these teachings that are absolutely anti-God, anti-biblical. As for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. And we're going to teach what He says is right. We're going to teach God's Word without hesitation. And let me just say this. If you are afraid to teach God's Word and what it says then you may need to rethink who you are and what you're doing. Yes, I hate to say it that way. I say it in love, but I'm also uh, uh, more convinced today that we need shepherds who are bold. We need shepherds who are unafraid. Shepherds who are willing to identify what Satan, evil, is out there to destroy our children and our families. Pastor, if the church doesn't get involved, if you as a leader don't get involved, it's no wonder what's been going on in America and in the world today. All of the, all of the things that are happening uh, with the, with with prom promiscuous sex. You know, all of the different things that are going on regarding the body, whether, whether it's a boy or a girl. I mean, come on. God didn't make a mistake. Does the church have a responsibility to talk about that? Or are you going to leave it up to the world and the public system to do all the teaching? Pastor, I challenge you this week to talk about it. Who's responsible? And if you identify that it is the church needs to be involved and the pastor needs to be involved, then what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? Yep, that's what we're here for, is to hold us accountable, to, to talk about the hard things, to talk about the things where the enemy is doing everything he can to destroy you and me and our families. Personally, I believe it's high time that we as pastors step up and we not, we're not afraid to have small group discussions and even from the pulpit to say sin is sin, wrong is wrong, and Jesus is the only way to get saved and free from that. I say that in love to you. 
God bless you. Linda and I are still praying for you. Faithfully, we pray for you. And I pray in Jesus' name that you have an awesome day and have the courage to talk about this. And if you're not in a champion table, I pray that you have a courage to get into a champion table today. God bless you.